Hello viewers, welcome back to Naji TV. Today we bring to you popular incredible pastors that are cultists. In chest to gain wealth and popularity, some pastors has done the unthinkable from sleeping with snakes, virgins, mermaids, burying of human health in church foundations, sleeping with girls in the altar and many more. Some of our famous pastors get their powers from the dark world because they want to be more popular and perform similar miracles to Jesus Christ. And this has made them do unholy things that go against their teachings. But before we get to informed and entertained, if this is your first time on Energy TV, you're highly welcome to our YouTube channel. And please do well to hit that subscribe button and don't forget to turn on the notification bell so you can always stay notified and updated whenever we post a new video. We upload very interesting content every day. See you at the comment section below. Meet Pastor Bjorn Fatoimbo. Pastor Bjorn Fatoimbo revealed that he was the chief priest of the Black Ass Confraternity while still in school. This left some people in a surprise mood. Pastor Fato Imbo, who revealed that he was the chief priest of Black Ass Confraternity while preaching, said he led other court members in confession and everyone to be initiated to the group ended up with him, he said in the video. I hate to say this, but I'm gonna say this to help you. When I was in school, I was a black ass and I was their chief priest. Everyone looking for initiation ended up with me and I used to lead them in confession. When I gave my life to Christ and I understood this dimension, I laughed and said, the devil is a stupid guy. We will put the axe on your head and you will repeat after me. And I will tell you by the authority conferred on me, I say this. Same principle. I've tested the two worlds and I can tell you this is the way it works. The devil understand this because he was with gold. He ended with the Bible verse Proverbs 6 from verse 2. You are slain by the words of your mouth. To Osita Daniel Ayahu. Evangelist Osita Dani Ayan was the man of God who was a Bukanya when he was a student at the University of Ibadan. But in 1999, he gave his life to Christ and started preaching the word of God. On August 2nd, 2017, Pastor Osita Dani stated that Cortis had made an attempt to eliminate him on three occasions, but God saved him. 3. Joshua Ada Reverend Joshua Ada was one of those breakouts who lived their lives to better humanity. Ada graduated from Ahmad Bello University, ABU Zaria. Prior graduation, he was reported to have been in a cult. Before becoming born again in his final year, he had extra year in school and then began to preach in the same campus where he was a cultist. Upon graduation, he was posted to Taraba State in 2002 for his National Youth Service Corps NYSC program. He served as the drama director of Nigerian Christian Corpus Fellowship NCCF, where he met his wife. Joshua Ada started a mission school free of charge after he saw the challenges the people are facing and in a short time had about 400 pupils from many villages around where he was staying. For Pastor Shino Rambo Pastor Shino Rambo, a pastor of the priest and child of God, who later gave his life to Christ, confessed of being a robber and a ritualist. Shino Rambo, whose real name is Matthew Oluwani Femi, said, was among a group of notorious gangs who tormented the lives of people in southwest Nigeria. 5. Apostle Johnson Suleiman Apostle Johnson Suleiman, the general overseer of Omega Fire Ministry International, was a courtist back then in school. I am from a home of separated parents. My parents had some issues. Any child from a home like that is bound to fall into the streets. So I got into school and I wanted acceptance somewhere. Someone told me that there is something called brotherhood and that I will be accepted as a family member and I liked it. What I always avoided then was the assignment. I was just like a floor member. I would go to meetings and when assigned to do something, I couldn't. I had to look for someone to do it and pay for it. I was not really happy, but I was there. 6. Pastor Makado C. Tumule Pastor Makado C. Tumule has revealed that he used magic to grow his church. My mistake was to associate myself with pastors running big churches as they introduced me to these evil things. After his guests to become popular, visited several West African countries to get the black power. He said he also used it to perform miracles and gain wealth. Pastor Marcado C. Tumule, after completing his four-year theology studies, traveled to several West African countries to get the supposed black power. The 36-year-old pastor from Pretoria told Delhi Sun that the black power enabled him to gain a huge followers and wealth. Pastor Marcado confessed, I got the power to do prophecies and was able to see people's secrets and do consultations. 
I used the evil powers I got to make people do things such as vomit snakes. I was in a rush to make money and see my church grow. Seven Prophet Emeka Odumeje Prophet Emeka Odumeje is the spiritual director of Holy Spirit Intervention Ministry, a church that is currently enjoying the patronage of many Anambra youths. The controversial Prophet Emeka Odumeje, who was in the news for allegedly boasting that he will walk on River Niger just like Jesus Christ, a claim which he denied, has once again been put on hot seat after a picture showing him making what many believe to be a cut hand sign went viral. However, while many Nigerians have been accusing the pastor of having spiritual power that might not be from God, many of his fans and followers have come to his defense, insisting that the hand sign was harmless and a mere coincidence. It's Pastor Solomon Olad Meji. Pastor Solomon Olad Meji is a white garment pastor and the founder of Cherubim and Seraphim Church. The controversial church founder said he is a very active member of the Ubuntu Secret Society where he occupies the position of Oluwu and the third command to the overall head of the fraternity. He also claimed that many of the pastors within the Orthodox and the Pentecostal fold are members of the Ogboni fraternity, adding that his membership of Ogboni is not only approved by the CNS Church in Nigeria but equally recognized by the Christian Association of Nigeria Khan, Why he dared any pastor to refute his claims. 9. Pastor Ajanaku Prophet Ajanaku was an Oro Cultist group member, burial rites performed by Oro traditional worshippers in Bungan Ocean State. In a false attempt to keep his memory alive, some members of late Prophet Ajanaku's church claim he woke up as mortuary staff were getting his corpse ready for burial. According to the funny rumor making wrong, Pastor Ajanaku allegedly woke up and shouted, Thank you, Jesus, before relapsing into another spiritual slumber. The members also claim his wife Joy Ajanaku has been claiming that he is not dead. Area resident of Ikola Odonsi, the place where Prophet Ajanaku lived before his untimely death, on Saturday evening at Bongan in Ocean State, said they were all surprised when Oro masquerades and traditionalists did his burial rites. His funeral rite that started around 12:30 a.m. in the morning on Tuesday, August 20, 2013, didn't end until 4 a.m. The resident claimed the Oro worshippers chanted Ajanaku's name throughout the town. This development has led to confusion among his faithful church members as some have vowed never to step into Christ's revival Victory Chapel International again. Wow, Lord of mercy. 10. Prophet Trevor Kosere Prophet Trevor Kosere was interviewed by a TV presenter Abraham Banda. In an interview on one Malawian television talk show where he made the chilling claims that modern day prophets are not using the power of the Holy Spirit to perform their so called miracles. I was in South Africa and I met the who is who of the gospel. What they told me is heartbreaking, said Kosere. He disclosed that when he was in South Africa, he was told of ritual that he had to perform if he were to become a renowned prophet. Counselor disclosed that this ritual involves sacrifices that include the killing of family members or church members. I am speaking this from experience. Some prophets have had to sacrifice their church members to gain fame. You have heard of people dying in places of worship. It is because they are using people as sacrifices. There are some who are told to keep a worm and keep feeding it. The worm grows into a snake and when it comes to that stage where it's a snake, it brings them money. Say Kausere disclosing the secret in the dark world of prophecy. Thanks for watching and if you are new to my channel, you can click on the red subscribe button to subscribe and hit on the bell icon to be notified. For your entertainment, inspiration and motivation is collective responsibility. Also, you can connect with me via Instagram at ashroman6, Twitter ashromans12, Facebook Danny, Unagin LinkedIn ashromans12, Tumblr ashromans12. Hello, what are you waiting for? Subscribe to Unagin's TV, your entertainment channel.